So today I'm going to show you uh, just one way how I install a mainspring uh, without using a mainspring winder. So you can see the barrel here has uh, the wide hole. So you want to take the wide part of the barrel arbor and set it into the barrel. That way you know what the placement's going to be. Then you take the mainspring, you find the hole inside the coil, and then you line that up with the barrel arbor hook so you know that correct placement. Now what you're going to do is pull out the tail of the mainspring and you're going to have to flip that around in order to install it. But first you got to put the braking grease inside the barrel wall. Um, but now you know the orientation of all your parts so you have your mainspring sitting correctly, your barrel arbor is right side up, and I'm just adding a little bit of oil um, to the bottom of the barrel before I do the install. So now that you know the orientation of the mainspring, you pull the tail out and it seems a little counterintuitive but you're going to want to um, install it tail first and it's a little hard because there's a lot of pressure built up onto the spring but you're just going to want to kind of force it in there I know that's squeaking outside that's screaming now uh, we do have a lot of noise going on in in the shop. There's uh, someone's air conditioner on top of the building across the street is going off. So bear with me. And this takes a little strength and effort to do with your hands. But once you get it, get that tail in there, you're going to rotate the barrel and wind up the spring. Now there's also another way to do this. Um, you can do it from the inside out, but I like to just do it from the outside in. If you do it from the inside out, you're going to want to use a different technique. But for me, uh, I, I just understand how to do this technique a little easier. And little by little, you rotate the barrel and wind the spring in. By the time you get to the end, you can start to relax and voila. The most important thing is to do those checks in the beginning where you have your barrel lined up with the arbor and you know which way the spring will set into the barrel. And I grease the walls of the barrel arbor and I snap the barrel arbor into the spring, grease the other side of the arbor. And put on the lid. Now you don't need a barrel closer, but they are a good, good way of securing the lid. And that's about it. Now, since I've been 
touching the barrel with my grubby little fingers. I like to clean it off with some Rodico. And begin with the next step of the watch service. And this barrel was for uh, Etta Movement. Um, 2776 maybe it was a, a no day uh, at a movement one of the predecessors to the 28 24 caliber and I uh, just felt like making a video um, because I didn't want to dig around for the mainspring winder and I, I like to do it like this every once in a while for fun so I hope you enjoyed the video and like, subscribe, comment if you feel like. Uh, thanks for watching.